Lake City. My name is Nomada Trev. I live on the road full time exploring, trying to enjoy the little things. I am leaving Flagstaff and heading towards Winslow and uh, eventually Albuquerque. But on the way to Winslow, there's actually a meteor crater, um, which I wanted to check out. So we're gonna check that out. It should be pretty cool. And then we're gonna go stay at a rest stop. I might do some door dashing in Winslow to make some extra money tomorrow. And then um, I'm gonna go stay with some friends I made uh, right outside of Winslow where I'll probably, where I might even rock climb, but they got some really cool views out there. So I'm excited just to see what life has to offer. But first, let's go check out this meteor crater. Jeez, this thing is massive. It's about 3,900 feet in diameter and about 560 feet deep. So we gotta go to the highest point to look at it. I spy with my little eye. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. They had a really cool vintage looking coffee shop. And you could go walk through their gift shop. There was lots of options to choose from. You know, that was actually pretty cool. I can't complain. It was 30 bucks to get in there. I really liked the whole structure of it. I think it'd be a good, cool thing for you guys to check out if you're ever in the area. But yeah, we're gonna go stay at a rest stop tonight. Block me in all freaking night. I got a little mad, but dude, this guy's like, Can you get out? I'm like, Yeah, if you give me some freaking foot. God. That was kind of intense. This guy was coming up with excuses to keep me blocked in. I'm like, Back up! Look at all this room up here, and they end up blocking me in. Crazy. That's what happens my first night parking in a uh, rest area and semis block me in all night. The bike is ready to try to get some DoorDash orders. Actually, there's my camper right there. I'm staying in the uh, visitor center parking lot. I gave him a call yesterday and he said I could. Yeah, there he is. It's kind of neat because right down the road here at the one way, uh, it's a very popular stand on the corner. It's from that song, Take It Easy. Um, I didn't even know much about it, but it's a very popular hotspot technically because this is Route 66. So uh, we're gonna drive over it right now and show you. So this is standing on the corner right here. Look right here, huh?
This town is a wild place and it's full of souvenirs and Route 66 type things. So it's pretty fun to take a little walk around and see cool cars. You'll never know what you're going to see there. Let's try to get a honk from this train. Come on, honk! I guess not. All right, got me a DoorDash here at McDonald's for $8. All right, let's go. Ooh, look at that thing. Second level. Done. Let's see what else we can get. To be honest, this town did not have many door dashing options, so I had to waste a lot of my time. Hi horse! Hi! How are you doing? You're so cute! Yep. No problem. You have a good day. Hi, buddy. Oh, it's okay. You guys have a good one. Ching. Come on, man. Just one little honk. Just one little honk, one little honk. Come on. My inner child needs it, man. Come on, right here. Hey, yo. Another day, another, I don't know what the heck's going to happen. I have to go take care of a couple things like wash the truck and empty the sewer. You know, the, the funnest parts about living on the road, right? I met this lady named Crystal on the Verde Canyon Railroad ride. And she's like, yeah, I live right outside of Winslow. You can come hang out at our property if you want. They got like cool canyons and they do rock climbing and stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'll check it out so i'm heading about 20 miles outside of winslow i had such a blast in winslow it was so cool to explore and it's a cute little town i did some door dashes i just explored a bit chased some trains but yeah we're gonna go uh take off and see what happens outside of winslow at crystal's and joe's place i'm pretty stoked it's very kind of them to let me come and stay there i accidentally snapped my freaking hood handle so now i have to pull it and just so the string opens it up, but the latch is snapped. I'm gonna have to get a new latch one of these days. God oh, dang it. I always break something. Crystal. She came down the road so she can guide me in so I wouldn't get lost.
So Joe and Crystal live off-grid in their own little tiny home they're building. And they invited me to go check it out. And you have to climb up this ladder to get up there. And it is such a unique little building project he has. And they reuse a lot of these items, repurpose them. Went on in. Oh, wow. Home sweet home, man. <laughs> home sweet home. And they got one heck of a view of the Chevalon Canyon. To be honest, I think they have one of the best backyards ever. And they offered to take me down into the canyon to check things out. And this place blew my mind. It looks unreal. This is their beginning rock climbing wall that I will actually be attempting later in this video. And they actually have their own petroglyphs in this canyon, which were absolutely stunning to look at. Have you ever seen the movie 127 Hours? Definitely was feeling that in here. Some of the best adventures, you have to make your own paths. Oh man. I don't know. <laughs> I'll go a long way around. There's a ranch across the canyon and they had ladders for their own pump stations. It was cool to look at the limestone because it was so sharp. But there's some unexpected creatures I got to see on this adventure. And this lizard was definitely my favorite. But they invited me for some dinner and some hot chocolate to end the day. What's that one thing you enjoy the most? One thing I enjoy the most is riding my motorcycle. Go out somewhere where you won't be disturbed and enjoy the view. I do get a little too excited on these dirt trails. When I was in kindergarten, they asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, and I said I want to be a rock climber. I thought that'd be an awesome way to live, but growing up, I quickly realized I'm not too fond of heights. But Joe and Crystal has invited me to go rock climb their beginner wall here in their Chevalon Canyon area that we explored the other day. So I said, screw it. Let's not let fear tell us what we can do. And let's go attempt it. I am pretty nervous, but 
I'm sure it'll be one heck of a journey. So let's go conquer some fears and rock this. Well, first, I got to take a nervous crap. And so this goes over top of that. Over top of that, follow it. Yeah, and then through Swing there. Swing back around. Yeah. That's your figure eight. That's your figure eight. Okay. I really sucked at doing the figure eights. You climb on. All right. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Take a little break for a second. That's my scared face at its finest. We don't look down, we look out. That goes pretty far down. <laughs> <laughs> you did. That's awesome. Good job, man. Okay. I guess I'll put on down. Okay, I'm gonna lower you back. Gosh, this is the grunting we were talking about. <laughs> oh. Okay. It's for my imagination to screw with me a little bit. I tapped it, right? I think that counts. Oh. Okay. All right. 
Look at that. Yeah. I wore my stretchy pants and everything. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you for watching my little week as a nomad in Winslow. I just want to say this has been one of my favorite weeks I have done. I got to do all kinds of amazing things. I got to meet some amazing people. Big shout out to Joe and Crystal for letting me stay here and taking me rock climbing for the first time. Had such a blast. But if you guys enjoyed it, smash that like button because it really helps my channel to grow. And we'll see you on the next one. Stay out of trouble.